All right, what's going on? Well, let's look at creating a stack column chart in Google Sheets. So I've got some data here. Here's some salespeople, and these are the different states that they cover. And this shows their sales in each state. So to create a stacked column chart, we just select the data, go to insert chart. And what it does, it does a column chart and you know, I guess that's fine and everything, but, uh, let's look at a stack column chart. So we're going to come down here and We've got a 100% stack column chart and a stack column chart and then just a column chart. So let's pick the stack column chart and you can see we got it right here. So first, let me go ahead and kind of make this a little bit smaller so get it on the screen good. All right, so, you know, pretty much everything here you want to you know, we want to leave that alone. Uh, use row one as header and use column A as labels. Well, that makes sense. That's the names. And then uh, the row is, that would be the, the territory, the states. Okay. All right. So now let's come over here to customize. So chart style. Well, we can change the background color. Uh, how about we do, let's, let's make it gray. All right, and let's see how that does. Now we can come over here and we can maximize the chart. I don't really think that looks good, so we'll uncheck that. And you can make it 3D. That looks pretty neat. Uh, you can change the border of the chart. Uh, I can come over, you know, and see how it changed it red right there. Uh, we can just we can leave it like that, I guess. And then we've got chart and access titles uh, let's see we got the chart title that's the that just listed the states there uh, we can I don't know maybe change it to sales uh, just leave it like that I guess and then we can change the horizontal access title that would be this one down here uh, we can change that to maybe sales, uh, salesperson. Uh, we can change the the font size, the color of the font. I think that looks good the, in the black like that. And then, of course, over here on the vertical axis, that would be this one over here. We can put a title there. We can just call that sales. And that'll throw that in over there. All right. So, and then series here. Okay. So this is where we can, we can start adding some stuff. So, you know, you, you look at these little squares here. Okay. Well, what are they? Well, if we add the data labels, okay. So we add the data labels and we added to have the value. So that's how much they sold in each state but you know it doesn't look that good it's kind of hard to read so we may want to change the position so what I would recommend doing is just coming down through here and just seeing which one you know fits the best uh, let's go to center I think center looks like it fits the best and I mean I, it does look kind of jumbled up I think, and you know, maybe if you made the, made it bigger, it wouldn't look so jumbled up, but I've got it small like this for the video. Uh, but what we can do is we can change the, the font size. So I can come down here and change it to a, to 10. So that makes it a little smaller. You can read it a little bit better. All right. And you know, now, well, I shouldn't have clicked that. Let's see. Let's go back. All right, so we've got the data labels. Now, you know, I might want to know, well, how much did they sell total each person? Well, look at this, total data labels. I can click that, 
and it shows the total up there. Uh, we can change the color, maybe put this in, let's see, put it in white, you know, maybe that'll let us know, or, uh, let's see, where is the, there it is, uh, maybe try red, I think that looks better. All right, so, you know, you can do all that, you can add a trend line, that'll add a, the trend lines for each one. And then we've got the legend. We can put that in different places. I think we'll just leave it where it is. And then you've got the horizontal axis. Now, what I want you to understand here, the chart and title, the chart and axis title, when we added that and, you know, you change the color, that changes these labels right here. Now, this right here, this horizontal axis, what that deals with are these labels right here. So, you know, you can change that. I'll show you. See how it, it changes that? I think we'll go back to black, though. But that's what that does. And, you know, you can change the size. You can, we can make them bold. Uh, we can reverse the order. And then you've got the vertical axis. That does the same thing. That controls this one right here. Uh, we can change that to bold. Um, and then... Uh, let's see the grid lines. So th the grid lines, I can add in some minor grid lines if I wanted to. I can add in two minor grid lines between each of the major. See if I do that. So, you know, you can just play around with it and see what, which one you like best and you can change the colors and all that stuff. But you know, that's, that's basically it. Um, uh, just got to make sure you have the right type of data to do this. So hopefully this helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.